pretty sure the guy at the grocery store thought I was absolutely insane for buying this many blackberries, but you do what you gotta do for a delicious dessert, right? Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Though I love making fancy desserts, and everything from like shoe pastry to multi-layered cakes to macarons, I am a sucker for an easy and quick dessert. Because sometimes you're just short on time or you promise to make something with your kids and it totally slipped your mind, but easy desserts are here for you. And today I'm gonna show you how to make this blackberry crisp that could not be more simple to make. Personally, I love crisps because they have all the delicious flavor of a pie with fresh fruit and a crumble topping, but none of the hassle. This crisp has a juicy and sweet blackberry layer and it's topped with a sweet and crunchy oat topping and it's perfect for summertime. And my best tip is to serve it with a big bowl of vanilla ice cream for maximum deliciousness. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to make this blackberry crisp from scratch. All of the ingredients and instructions will be listed in the description box below, uh, but let's get started. First things first, I'm washing all the blackberries. And this is just to make sure they are as clean as possible before going on with the recipe. And I actually did not use all the blackberries shown here, <laughs> so I ended up saving them for snacks or other meals later. Once they're all washed, I'm chopping them in half, or sometimes if they're a bit larger, I'll even chop them into quarters. Uh, just use your judgment call based on how large they are. And this did stain my cutting board a little bit, so expect that to happen. But once all the blackberries are chopped, you're actually going to move on to creating the filling. So in a large bowl, I'm combining the blackberries with some cornstarch. And then next I'm gonna add in some light brown sugar. So for my recipes, I always prefer to use a scale to weigh all the ingredients, just to make sure that they are as accurate as possible. After that, I'm going to add in a little bit of vanilla extract, followed by some lemon juice. After all that's together, I'm going to give it a quick stir until well combined, and then you're gonna set that aside while we make the crumble topping. So grab a separate bowl, and first we're actually going to melt some butter. So I'm just portioning the butter out, and then I'm gonna melt it for about 30 seconds until it's uh, an even consistency, and then I'm adding in some oats. I'm also going to add in some brown sugar, A little bit of salt a little bit of ground cinnamon and then finally some all-purpose flour once that's all together I actually did a little too much flour there <laughs> once that's all together just give it a quick stir until well combined and try not to eat a lot of this because I think it's delicious before you bake it. So I'm always sneaking a couple bites here and there. But this looks perfect. So now we're actually ready to assemble. So I'm gonna bake this in an eight by eight baking dish and I'm just spraying it well with Pam before putting it in the oven. So spread the berry layer on the bottom and I'm just using an offset spatula to make sure that it's even. After that's done, you're gonna just gently crumble the oat topping over the berries. And I'm using my hands to do this just so it's evenly distributed because you don't want uh, any berries to be showing out through. You just want it to be an even oat layer across the entire top. Make sure to get those last little bits and then it's ready for the oven. Oh, it looks so good. So this blackberry crisp is actually going to bake at 350 degrees and it takes usually about 35 to 38 minutes. And what you're looking for is when the blackberry starts to kind of bubble up over the crumble topping and it, it should be like a beautiful golden brown on top like this. And oh, isn't just the color that the blackberries achieve just beautiful? I think it's just gorgeous. So I think this dessert is best served with a heaping scoop of vanilla ice cream on the side. I think it just takes it to that next level that you need. <laughs> Maybe even two scoops if you're crazy, which I usually do. And oh, it's just the perfect pairing and so delicious for summertime. One of my favorite recipes and I make it all the time. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how to make this blackberry crisp. 
It's a super easy dessert and it's one of my favorites for summertime and I'm going to go enjoy a big bowl of this with ice cream <laughs> because nothing sounds better on a 75 degree day here in New York City. If you did enjoy this video, it means a lot and supports the channel if you hit the like button down below. And make sure to subscribe to make sure you see all future videos from me. I share new baking tips and recipes every week, so you'll want to stay tuned for more. And until next time, happy baking, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys!